Hey there, welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we're going to dive into how you can copy text from an image using the built-in snipping tool in Windows 11. Whether the text is typed or handwritten, this tool makes it easy to extract and use that text without any third-party software. How cool is that? So, let's get started. Step 1. Open the snipping tool. First things first, let's open the snipping tool. On Windows 11, you can do this easily by clicking on the Start menu, typing Snipping Tool into the search bar, and then clicking on it. Once you've opened it, it should look something like this. This is where the magic happens. Step 2. Choose your image. Now, for the experiment, we have two different types of images. One is handwritten, and the other is typed text. Here's our first image, a handwritten note. It's a great example to see how well the tool can handle handwritten text. And here's our second image, which is a typed document containing some details, including my name, contact information, and email address. So let's see how the snipping tool handles both of these. Step three, import your image into snipping tool. To get the image into snipping tool, you have two options. One, click the three dots, the more options button in the top right corner, then select open file and choose your image from your folders. Two, or even easier, drag and drop your image directly into the snipping tool. I'll demonstrate this by dragging and dropping the first image into the tool. Now, as you can see, we have the first image ready to work with in the snipping tool. Step four, use the text action icon. Now, here's the magic part. We need to use the text action icon. If you're on Windows 11, you should see a small icon that looks like a document icon in the snipping tool. This is the OCR, Optical Character Recognition, feature that helps us extract the text from the image. Once you click on the text action icon, the snipping tool will automatically scan the image and highlight any text it detects. Take a look. It has highlighted the text in the image. You'll notice that it even recognized the handwritten words. Step five, copy the extracted text. Here's where it gets fun. You have two options to copy the text. Option one, click on copy all text to copy everything that's been highlighted. Option two, if you only want a specific part of the text, you can click and drag over the area you want, right click, and then select copy. Let me show you how it works. I'll click on copy all text, open notepad, and paste the text there. Just like that, we have the text from the image copied and ready to use. Step six, fixing mistakes. Now, as you can see, the letter G in the image was identified as a Q. This happens sometimes, especially with handwritten text. But don't worry, you can easily edit this text in Notepad or whatever application you're pasting it into. Step seven, try the typed image. Next, let's go ahead and drag and drop our second image, the one with typed text, into Snipping Tool. We'll do the same thing. Click on the text action icon to scan the image. And voila, it has highlighted the text. Step eight, using the quick redact feature. Now, let's try something else. If your image contains sensitive information, like an email address or phone number, you might want to hide that information before copying the text. In Snipping Tool, you have the quick redact feature that allows you to automatically redact email addresses and phone numbers. Let me show you. In our third image, we have my email and phone number. If I click on Quick Redact, the tool will hide my contact details from the image before we copy the text. Let's click on Copy All after applying the redaction, and then paste it into Notepad. You'll notice that the email and phone number are hidden and replaced with the word Redact. Step 9, Manual Redaction. If you want to redact something else, like my name or any specific word, you can manually highlight the text, right-click, and select Redact Text. Let's do that for the word which. When I copy the text and paste it, you'll see that which has been replaced with redacted. This feature is great for ensuring privacy, especially when dealing with sensitive documents.
Step 10, fixing missing text action icon. Now, here's something you may encounter. Sometimes the text action icon doesn't appear in the snipping tool, which can be frustrating, but don't worry, we can fix it. Let's go through the steps to fix it. One, right click on the start menu and choose installed apps. Two, search for snipping tool in the list of installed apps. Three, click on the three dots next to it and select advanced options. Four, from here, you can try repairing the app first. Let's try that and see if it fixes the issue. Unfortunately, in this tutorial, the repair option didn't work for me, and the text action icon is still missing. But don't worry, let's move on to the next fix. Step 11, uninstall and reinstall the snipping tool. Now, let's try a more thorough solution, uninstalling and reinstalling the snipping tool. Here's how. One, in the same advanced option section, click uninstall. Two, once uninstalled, open the Microsoft Store app from the Start menu. Three, search for Snipping Tool in the Microsoft Store. Four, click on the Get button to download and install it again. Once the installation is complete, let's open the snipping tool and see if the issue is fixed. And yes, the text action icon is now showing up we can use it to extract and redact text from the image. And that's how you can use the Snipping Tool's OCR feature to copy text from any image, whether it's typed or handwritten. Plus, now you know how to fix it if the text action icon is missing. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more useful tips. Also, let me know in the comments, did this fix work for you? Have you tried the snipping tool for OCR before? I'd love to hear your experiences. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.